with my bangs. Oh, a struggle. Hi guys, it's Elena and I'm enchanted to have you be here on my channel. Hello and welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. If you're new, consider liking, subscribing, becoming a part of my little YouTube family. And if you've been here before, hello and welcome back to each and every one of you wonderful individuals sitting right over there. Lots of love, lots of warm hugs across the screen, and hopefully you and yours are safe. On today's video is... Kind of an unboxing, but it's an unboxing of um, mostly my choice. And a couple have sent in suggestions through my Instagram. So um, this is a little bit of an Amazon haul. It all didn't come in the same box, I just packed it all in just to be a little bit dramatic about it. But we got some wonderful witchy goodies, we got some tarot cards, oracle cards, a little bit of stationery stuff, um, a little bit of crystal stuff, and well, just a ton of goodies. And it's kind of an unboxing, like I said, and it's kind of my choice, and it's kind of a suggestion choice. So I kind of want to do these every now and then, maybe do like a collection of your suggestions and do like Amazon reviews specifically for witchy stuff. I don't know if anybody has ever followed Pretty Pastel Please. She's a wonderful YouTube and she has a series called You Weeby, You Want It, I Bought It, but it's regards to like fashion and clothes. So maybe I can do a You Weeby type of series regarding witchy goodies. So uh, let's get right in. I'm very excited. A couple of these I have seen because I did take them out of other boxes and I'm super excited to check out. Like this Fantasy Cats Oracle deck. So um, it's still sealed. I still, oh gosh, I need my little thing. Babe, can you help? I need a opener thingy. It's in the first drawer of the shelf in my office. Thank you. Don't. <laughs> Don't actually throw me there. Thank you. My wonderful husband. All right, so let's open this first set of cards. Really excited. Um, it's cats. How can you not be excited about cats? Maybe this one's sitting over here. That's, that's my puppy. She's kind of chilling over there, being all quiet for now. <laughs> we'll be not so excited about cats, but this is called Fantasy Cats Oracle Card. And I'm going to bring it up close so that you're able to see it. Hopefully the light that I have here isn't going to, like, totally wash it out. There we go. And it says, magic is in your paw, which is pretty darn cool and exciting, if you ask me. And it comes a cute little box, and it opens up like this. And it's a 23-card oracle deck. It has a little instructions booklet here with it, and then it has the cards, obviously. Oh, boy. Now, I'm going to have all these product links down in the description below. Some of them could be affiliate links through Amazon. It's a little way you can help support my channel at no extra cost to you. But, oh, these are so cute. One is cuddling, two is feeling, three is dreaming. Oh, these are precious. All right, hopefully, let's see if we can battle with the light. So I'm going to show you a couple of the cards. Oh goodness. There's this one. Oh, they're precious. Look at how cute they are. Oh, oh, I love this one. 
All right, I wasn't really gonna go through all of the cards here, but it, it, it's kind of a must now. Since I started, I'm just gonna go really quickly. Oh, they're so cute. I love the artwork. Oh my goodness, the little tiny kitty in the hair. Oh, I can't. It's just so cute. This is a great start. This is so adorable. Oh, I need to take a closer look at this one. Astronaut cat, it's called traveling. Oh, <laughs> that's silly. Oh my goodness, and I think we are, nope, still more. Here's this one. Oh gosh, I literally was not planning on going through the whole card deck, but it's just too darn cute not to. Oh, with the little fairy leaf thing. Oh my gosh. All right, is this it now? Maybe? I just see blue. I don't even remember what card I started with. I'll just keep going and once I redo the video, I'll stop at the right spot. Okay, this one was it. Adorable. I'm definitely happy I got these cards. I mean, kittens, like, and the artwork is just so fantastic. Then, let's see. I got this little box. I think this is the Chakra Crystal set. I don't exactly remember. I, I think, I believe. I think so. So it has a little like carrying pouch here. And I think this is one that was recently requested by one of my followers on Instagram. And it just came right in time for me to do this unboxing. And I believe this is the, yep, seven chakra. Oh, this is so much smaller than I expected it to be. Ooh. I definitely expected this to be a little bit bigger, but there's nothing wrong with little tiny chakra pieces. Um, it's good for travel, I suppose. So first we have this obsidian stand for them, and it kind of has little out, um, little dents in it for you to create a little chakra crystal grid. Um, I don't know how well they will sit in there because they're kind of rounded and these are fairly flat based. So these crystals on their own, um, actually, no, I don't know. Can you, can you see that on my knee? Let me see if I can. They're not super stable and I'm totally doing this wrong but they do sit in it just fine. And then we have, oh, there that goes, the seven crystal tiny tower points that correspond with the chakras. So here is that. Um, I think this is a great beginner for anybody starting out learning chakras, that type of thing. I'm just gonna bring these up close uh gosh i don't exactly remember all of these um citrine lapidolite amethyst quartz red jasper uh, i don't remember that one <laughs> i'll i'll try to mark them down below so we have these guys here and with this kit also comes little palm stones. Let me see if, what's a good way to show them? So we have little round palm stones that match alongside with the seven points. And they're the same type of stones. 
They don't have any markings or anything like that. Oh, I think that orange one is supposed to be tiger's eye. Maybe. Mm, not sure. We have tiger's eye for the base round one, but we don't have a tiger's eye for the point. I'll have to double check on those. I'm not super 100% certain, but I know there's Lapidolite, Amethyst, Red Jasper, Quartz, Tiger's Eye, Fluorite, I believe, and I'm not sure what this one is. So, um, maybe you can see the little stones, hopefully, because I can't really pick them up. They're really tiny, but it's a great start for beginners. Um, it's great for travel if you move around frequently. It has a little traveling pouch. I do like the obsidian base of it. Again, it's just a little bit smaller than I expected. Maybe just wasn't too careful with reading the instructions. But here is this one. If you were the person that requested it, hopefully you got a good look at the review. All right, so bam. On to the next stuff. Which one? Ah. Okay, this one, <laughs> I already had to open it because I just couldn't wait to use it. This is a set of three um, wax candles. And this is what the box looks like. The one that I have is currently, uh, the one that's supposed to be in the middle here is currently on my altar. Let me tell you how amazing these things burn. Evenly, perfectly, the whole room kind of smells like honey. It turns this like beautiful amber, like golden amber color. It kind of smells a little bit like honey now. These are definitely my favorite candles as of now, unless I'm working with anything in color. And they're just rolled beeswax candles. Hopefully you can see. Come on, let's play around with the light. So they're just rolled beeswax candles. They have that lovely texture, but for this size of a candle, it burns so well and so clean. It just, just kind of like melts be like honey. <laughs> I cannot praise these enough. Definitely my favorite altar candle to use as of right now, unless I'm working with colors. So highly, highly recommend. Wonderful little Amazon favorite. Okay, since we did cat oracle cards, let's do cat's tarot haha <laughs> so this is called mystical cat's tarot um it's a 78 card deck and an information booklet i'm not gonna go through the whole 78 cards otherwise this video is just gonna be forever and a day long but ooh. Oh, it's not just any regular box. It just kind of opens like that and it's oh, on a magnet. Ooh, it's a fancy box. So this is what it looks like on the inside. Um, Tales of Mystical Cats. This is the information booklet. It is quite a hefty booklet and it seems to be very detailed. Oh, I love the books that come alongside with the picture of the card. Hopefully you can see that and then it talks about information. This way I feel like it's a lot easier to study the cards. You're able to see it kind of right next to the text. I mean, you can easily just grab a card and put it next to the text, but just having a full comprehensive booklet on the tarot is just perfect. Then we of course have, oh, the little paws in the back. Okay, let me, let me get the pl plastic off of it so there's no reflection from the light. I'm slowly building up a little pile over here of all these plastic pieces. Ooh, the cards feel flimsy and slippery. Very, very slippery. I mean, that that's not necessarily a bad thing, but they don't feel very like hefty or thick. They're kind of like really bendy. Um, let me try to realign these guys. I mean, I guess they're 78 cards, so you wouldn't really want them to be too thick. Oh, these are cute! Let me show you a couple that are just like over the moon adorable. 
Uh, and the light is not being kind to it. Come on. Focus. Maybe if I do this, this, will this be better? Okay. I think I'm just going to hold them up over here and zoom in. So we have this card here, which is pretty cute. And then we have this little amethyst guy. We have this cute little black and white kitty. Oh, these are cute. The artwork is not exactly my favorite type of style, but it is very cute nonetheless. Oh, <laughs> look at all these little guys. All right, so I'm not gonna go through all 78 cards of these. This might be a little tricky to shuffle. I'm not super savvy at sh sh shuffling them. So they seem like they might be flying all over the place. Um, I guess maybe within, I guess maybe throughout longer use and stuff like that as that like super shiny coat kind of wears in, it'll be a, li le a little less like flying all over the place. We shall see. But these cards are adorable. I mean, cats, who doesn't need cats? It's like witches and cats just go together, don't they? This is a little bit of a stationary set and it is a wax kit. Let me just open up both sides. And this is actually my second wax kit that I got. So we have some dried little flowers here which are super cute to use in like a bullet journal or in your book of shadows or anything like that. Just to add a little bit more of like a natural element. We have candles, that type of thing. We have this little um, wax melt spoon thingy. Let me see if I can do this. I think that'll be better, yeah. Little wax spoon melt thingy. I like it because it has like a little point to make it easier to pour. Then you have a whole kit of wax beads in all various of colors. Some are sparkly, some are not. I needed some more wax and it's good for pen pal kits and it comes with envelopes that are good for pen pals. So it comes with a set of envelopes <laughs> that are nice and fun to use. And I like them because they're like shimmery. So we have like a gold one, pink, black, bronze, and like a pearly white. So a wonderful wax kit. Um, could be used for book of shadows. I know a lot of people use wax seals and stuff like that for book of shadows. I know I do. I use it for spell work and such. And it is cute and I feel like the price is fairly good for these guys. All right, then what else we have? I believe this is some sort of crystal thing. It is in a pouch and then wrap up. No, oh, witchy earrings. I got a little set of uh, witchy-esque earrings. Because you can never have too many earrings. Um, it comes one, two, three, four sets. Oh goodness. Let's see what's the best way of doing this. And I think I'm just gonna take out one ad at a time. We'll see. Ooh, so I'll need to show both of these. This is Moon and Oh no, the little piece fell out. It's like falling apart. Oh no. I'm gonna put these in the box over here. All right, it is a moon and star set. I'm trying to figure out what's the best way of showing these. Maybe like that. Let's see if I can figure it out. Okay. There we go. These are little gold earrings. And I like the asymmetry of these. These will be really fun to wear in the videos. I'm excited. So we got some moon and star earrings and then we have another set of moon and star earrings. Now this is, 
I don't believe any of these are sterling silver or hypoallergenic or anything like that. This is just costume jewelry. Thankfully, I don't have too much of a reaction when it comes to, ooh, these are sparkly and pretty. Thankfully, I don't have too much of a reaction when it comes to costume jewelry. Um, so if you are sensitive and you need like hypoallergenic type, maybe this won't work for you. I, I don't know, but I'm trying to like set these up so I can show them off. Um, this is another asymmetrical set. Just look at how cute. Oh my goodness. I love the colors. They're kind of Christmassy a little bit. But these are super, super cute. I'm so excited to wear these. I like how they're big and dangly too. We have yet another set. Um, I don't, are these asymmetrical as well? Yes, yes they are. Oh boy, there we go. Let me hook these on. <laughs> oh gosh, come on. Spin that around. There we go. Another asymmetrical set. We got the moon and star, I believe. And these are cute. These are very cute. Now, all of these come in a set. They all came together. They're part of like the same kit. Oh, I got a little galaxy spot here too. Nice. And then one more. Um, I believe it's also another asymmetrical set. Hopefully I don't lose the little like back pieces to these. Um, yep. But these are like least noticeable, um, asymmetrical pieces. If that makes sense. So we got little hoops. All right, so here are these. Very cute. I'm definitely looking forward to wearing these. Let's see if you can spot them in my future videos. Okay, my, my pile of plastic is growing. Then we have more goodies and this is ooh, this is definitely a crystal set yeah I'm actually really excited about this one Oops. good thing it was all wrapped up and this is a charging point or like a power point depends on how you were to describe it and this is a quartz crystal and it's all connected to a tower so it's supposed to be a power drawing center point so to speak now these are great if you do crystal grids put this in the center of a crystal grid and and these are great if you're doing any spell work and you need to charge any of the items or anything like that or moon water put it on top of the jar just to kind of help draw in the power since it has like a specific point and specific like drawing in tendencies if that makes sense so this is clear quartz i love working with clear quartz it works with everything and it makes everything else a little bit more oomph wise okay so quartz <laughs> then we have oh i know these I opened them because I was confused about the box. This is another set of earrings, but these are little studs. And um, these were suggested by Amazon after I bought those earrings and <laughs> well, <laughs> couldn't resist. So I don't need to take them off the little brown paper bag and they're just little crescent moons. Now these are sterling silver, I believe, and they just have the cutest, tiniest little sparkle. I am super excited to wear these. Hi, Issy. Big stretch, big stretch. Thank you. All right, that was Solstice, my puppy. Call her Issy for short. No. 
Either either come up here or, or stay there. The side. Pardon the mild interruption. So, cute little earrings. On to the next bit. What is this? Oh, something's jingling inside. Oh no, I lost my little opener. Ugh. Continuous chaos. Where did it go? There it is. Oh, okay, so this is a rotary candle. Now I know what it is. I just read the little title. So, this beautiful creation. Oh, I'm so excited. Um, this might not be the best place to show it, since I can't really light it while I'm holding it. I mean, it won't exactly be safe, and my hair is down, I just don't want to catch anything on fire. So we have a little piece here. It's the other way. Okay. I figured it out. <laughs> then we have this very fragile little spindle thing. Oh boy. Which goes on top here. And then we have this goes you see it spinning already. It just needs the lightest touch of breeze and it is going to spin. So what happens after I spend 15 minutes setting this up, because it is so dainty and delicate. Okay, so here is this <laughs> teeny tiny dainty thing. I'm going to push it off to the side here so that you're able to see it. So what you do is put a candle in the center. And when you light the candle, the heat of it travels up and then it spins it. So the heat of the candle would make it spin like that. And you'll get beautiful shadows. So it's like a little mobile, but like for your desk or your altar. And it's just so darn cute okay I think this is the most exciting thing I'm excited about this is gonna go right on top of my altar or maybe like maybe by my bed stand oh it's so cute and it's kitties very excited I'm gonna put this over here so that I don't squash it all right on to next good things. We have this guy here. I lost my opener again. We have this guy here. And I think I know what this says. This is a <laughs> something I would have given my left leg for when I was a teenager. It is <laughs> a book with a passcode. Just look at the stunningness of it. Look at how pretty it is. Oh, and it's like a squishy matte type of texture. Oh, I'm very excited for it. Um, I believe it's set to its opening code. Yep. You're able to change the code. It has the instructions on there. Oh god. Somewhere. Right in there. Okay has the instructions on it, and then it has a little booklet inside filled with pages. So this could be as like a diary, or a book of shadows, or your journal, or just anything you want to jot down in. And ooh, it also has pockets, but that's not what I'm ooing about. But it's also interchangeable, this, oh god. Give me a second while I struggle to get this out. I want to take a look at it. Yeek! Come on. Oh. Boy. So it has a very simple notebook on the inside, and this can be a cover for anything else. Now, the notebook itself, the pages are fairly thin, 
and they are college ruled. I, I mean, they are wide ruled. I do prefer college rule. And in the top, it has like a spot for your date and on the corner it says, thank you. And it says, thank you, and then thank you. Hmm, I don't know how I feel about the little thank you on every one of the corners here. I guess it can be a reminder to be thankful, but I think what I'm going to do is end up putting my bullet journal in here and having a lock for my bullet journal. I didn't know this part comes out. I'm excited. <laughs> I am very excited. So um, let me give you another nice good look at the front of it. It is so pretty and it has like a rosy gold-ish embossment on it. <sighs> yeah, this is this is where my bullet journal is gonna go. Like I said, I would have given my left leg for this if I was when when I was a teenager to have like a lock on a little journal. Yeah, it would have saved so much trouble when my mom went through the diary through my diary. But that's a story for another time. Anyways, we have two more items left. I know this video is kind of long. Let's see what we got in this one. This is. Another crystal, I believe. I swear I lose the thing each time I open something. Where did it go? <laughs> All right, this. Oh, I forget the name of it. And I ordered this not too long ago. I ordered it specifically because of the, the specific type of crystal it is. They wanted a large chunk of it. Oh my god, the name is totally eluding me. I will put it somewhere on the side. Let me, I don't think that light was being friendly to it. Let me show it to you this way. It is so pretty. It's so sparkly. It is a nice raw chunk of it. The name is completely eluding me. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> I will put the name somewhere nearby and the link for it will be down in the description as well. I'll put that off the side. And last but not least, this was also a request from one of my followers on Instagram. Um, sorry for saving it for last, I didn't mean to. But this is the Queen of Moon Oracle Cards take off more plastic. They, they use so much plastic packaging for this stuff. All right, it, it is 44 cards and a guidebook. Let me show you the front of it. It is a beautiful color, beautiful cover, and the artwork seems like it's gonna be something right up my alley to use. Ooh. So here is the little booklet. Oh, it even has an app that you can download for free. That's pretty cool. So this is the little booklet. It has the same cover as the front of the thing. It has information on it. And it also comes with a picture on it. And this one's a picture in color. Woo! So I definitely approve of the information booklet on this. Awesome. And then we have the cards. So this is what the back of the cards look like. Pretty nice and moony. And then we have the cards themselves. I'm not gonna go through all of them, because there's quite a few cards, but we have the void, which is gorgeous artwork. Beginning. Oh, so beautiful. Acceptance. Oh, I am so excited to use these. Oh, these are stunning. Definitely stunning set of cards. 
They're not too slippery. They're a good thickness, I would say. And they'll be a good shuffling. They're not gonna like fly apart like the other one. This might fly apart a little bit, but not as bad as the other ones. Then we have, ooh, Resilience. Card deck looks stunning. Absolutely stunning. You have extremes. I like how the titles of it are different than like the other oracle cards I've experienced or held. But beautiful, beautiful cards. Um would definitely recommend. Yeah, so if you're still interested in getting these cards, hon, go for it. They feel great, they look great, and I'm sure they're gonna be quite a magical experience to use. Okay, so this concludes my <laughs> quite large Amazon haul. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. You can put down links in the comments if you want of other products you want me to try from Amazon or I'm gonna have little polls and stuff like that available like maybe a, a like two weeks before I'm gonna do uh, another Amazon haul video like that. So they're not gonna be too frequently. It would maybe be like once a season type of thing. I'm not sure, but they, they won't be too frequently, but keep an eye out, you know, hit that notification bell to get all those little alerts and stuff when I post them or follow me on Instagram to know when I'm gonna be doing another haul for Amazon. So. This is it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, the whole shebang. We have tons of magical fun here, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye!